Hey guys, welcome to Cartoon Laundry Touch once again. In this video, I am going to show you how I created this image in Photoshop. Now, before you start this video, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and leave a thumbs up. And then, when the video is finished, you can leave a comment. I would really appreciate that. Now, if you'd like to purchase this PSD file, you can do so at my website at www.carthwilliamsretouch.net. Um, without further ado, let's get started. This is the final image, obviously. No, this is not the final image. This, this is the final image. This is where I cropped the image. And that was a request from the client itself. And this is basically the retouched. This is the original file. Um, this is the raw conversion, actually. And from the raw conversion, I, I had to do a second raw conversion just to get back some of the color from the lips. And basically, this is the working file here and after that I did some skin cleanup I did actually a lot of skin cloning cloning and healing these molds I actually had to remove later but I thought about leaving them while I was doing the retouching but um, I did some skin cl um, cloning basically just manipulating texture to make it look even basically the usual thing um, I followed it with some inverted high pass as we all know I love inverted high pass and it does look a little bit blurry, but I had to fix that with the dodge and burning. But I thought this image needed so much work that the inverted high pass was really definitely necessary. And I used really high radius in order to keep and maintain the texture in the image. After using the inverted high pass, basically I dodged and burn. And as you can see, it really got back a lot of shape. I gave it a lot of shape. If you would like to see the details of the dodge and burn layer, please be sure to purchase the PSD files. You can see all the details. I'm going to just give you a quick review of how it's done as you can see with the dodge and burning there is a lot of there's a lot of um micro le macro level dodging and burning you can literally see the texture in the dodge and burn layer and so a lot of dodging and burning was done in this image as you can see i did a split frequency in order to to fix the hands basically because the hands it has a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of texture in it and it actually look a bit ashy and maybe I should have softened it up a bit further but um, what I did I created a split frequency and you can see between the split frequencies between the high and the low I painted in order to smooth things out with the fingers and this is how it looks between the high and the low split frequency then I dodge and burn further just to um, just for some detail, just to fine tune certain things like the lips and stuff like that. The fingers was a really give me a really hard time while retouching this image, as I recall. And I really had to do a lot of work on the fingers. But this this layer of dodging and burning was for the just for the fine tuning of the image, just to make things make the edges cleaner and stuff like that. Because edges really make an image pop. How clean the edges are really make an image look sharp and so on and so forth. Then I created another split frequency because the level of split frequency I did in the previous conversion in the previous attempt was not low enough for the sake of the hands. I really wanted the hands to get a lot softer. They were a bit ashy looking. So I did another split frequency with a lower radius to kind of affect texture at some level but not all of the texture. If you know what I mean. So some of the texture still was maintained in the low. As you can see, this is the low, and there's still a lot of texture remaining here. And, and I painted between, so that kind of smoothed it out a little bit. There's still some left after I painted between. And yeah, so basically that's it. And there's still the whatever was min was re whatever remains in the high pass that still remains. So. At this point, okay, I think I'm more satisfied with the hands now. After that much work, the hands really gave a lot of problems, as you can see. And then I created another split frequency because, as you know, I'm never, I'm never really satisfied. <laughs> I am a perfectionist, so I really try to make sure things are perfect. And I'm, I don't see it's not actually necessary, but. I went on to another split frequency with high radius in order to maintain as much texture as possible in this event and I just just a lot more fine tuning basically around the nail area and around the mouth area that is where I can see changes being done at this point 
from the lip. Then I really went in to fix the teeth. If you can look carefully, it's almost unnoticeable, but I did fix the teeth. To some extent, I think I, I further liquefied the teeth just to straighten them out. But here, I basically went to make these, the image one color. And as you can see, around the neck area was a bit purple in compared to the head. So I had to reduce that a bit. Around the blacks basically were a bit purple. And then I made a gradient map over the entire image. And basically removing it from the lips only. Even the lips and the background. Then I enhanced the whites. I further went on to adjust the colors. And this is what really made this image stand out to me. I really like this kind of purple color. Um, if you would really like to see the details of these layers, you need to purchase the PSD. Um, mostly, I can tell you this top layer is what really made the big dramatic change. Uh, the others were just color corrections. The top layer was adjusting the blacks alone because this is a dark skin model. So you could just adjust the blacks, pull out the blues. That is what I did. The blacks. I thought maybe I had added some magenta or something, but it was just the blacks pull out the blues a bit and that's how it got to this kind of purple looking color so after doing that I went on to blur this is a technique that I always use I blur I blur basically the out of focus areas because that just enhances the depth of the image so like the neck area you could barely notice anything but every detail counts and underneath here was blurred a little just to create depth to create illusion that that area is further away it's blurred it's out of focus then I added some contrast oh I made the focus of the image more around her face area as you can see and just just by brightening up the area it kind of called more attention to that area Maybe I should have masked it out of some of the whites on her finger. That is what I should have done. Looking at the image now, and this is the second time I'm doing this walkthrough, I'm thinking I should have done that. Masked it out from her finger, which is already blown out to some extent. Um, yeah. So then I basically fixed some, some fine tuning around her lips. Liquify. I usually liquify in the beginning. In this image I didn't. As you can see I liquefied around her fingertips, her hands, just really subtle adjustments to make things a lot more symmetrical and much more clean. Clean edges basically. Um, I went on to dodge, to dodge around the nose area. That shadow was a little bit distracting for me at the time I guess. And that's about it. It's a really um, this actually took me quite a long, long time, almost six to eight hours. So if you really want to really get into the details of what really took place, you need to get the PSD file, which is available on my website. Once again, at www.gatlampreacher.net. This is the final crop here. And um, I'm really not sure if I actually saved the image with or without this level of adjustment. I think bo both works. So if you would really like to um no more be, be sure to subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching this is it um this is the second time i'm recording this video if you would like to see the previous attempt which is a bit boring i will leave the link in the description for you guys just for everything all the links all the details you can find in the description of this video so thank you guys for watching be sure to like my facebook page as well be sure to check out my facebook page www.facebook.com slash feathered pixels and you'll see everything feathered pixels retouch so thank you guys once again. I'm always very grateful for you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.